And here comes the rain. You can see the uh, hills of southern Indiana disappearing as we have some uh, heavy downpours uh, coming across New Albany and southern Floyd County heading toward the city. Let me show you another vantage point of what it looks like coming into downtown. Man, that's a mean looking sky there. Pretty good downpour. Nothing severe. The, again, the warning has expired. The storm has weakened just a bit. And I, I know it's a nasty looking sky there, but uh, generally we're talking about winds of 40 to 50 miles per hour in the stronger gusts and also uh, some heavy rains. But that's about it. Maybe some winds 40 to 50. That's about it. Okay, let's run down the numbers because these thunderstorms in the area have knocked the temperature down just a bit. 85 at Louisville International, 81 at Bowman, and that's down from our high today of 90 degrees. Eight days in a row in the 90s. 75 was our low, and the rain total for today and for yesterday both at 4300s, and that's going to be changing in just a couple of minutes. Pollen count low today, moderate tomorrow, low on Friday. All right, uh, this photo just sent in from Brian Gelbach of Elizabeth, Indiana. That's what that storm looked like uh, as it was approaching the Elizabeth area just about five to ten minutes ago. So, uh, nasty looking sky. And again, uh, we did have reports of 55 mile per hour winds in northern Meade County uh, with that storm. Here's the latest. It has the rain has crossed the river now uh, from right around the Sherman Mitten Bridge uh, coming in to the Shively exit on Dixie Highway here. Uh, just not quite there yet, but it's into the uh, Cane Run Road area and Campground Road area, getting some very heavy downpours right now. And then Valley Station, portions of Valley Station now getting some heavy rains and another little batch of heavy rain coming in on uh, portions of New Albany right now. Again, this has weakened just a little bit over the last uh, few minutes or so. A little zoom in here showing you that little spurt of heavy rain uh, just coming in off the Powers Expressway, getting ready to cross, should be reaching the Churchill Downs area in about five minutes or so. Haven't had no reports of hail uh, with this, just some heavy downpours. Here's the movement of this storm. So uh, much of Jefferson County uh, will get this, except for maybe the extreme southwest corner down around Cosmosdale. You may be in a little break where you get maybe a, just a brief shower, and that's about it. But uh, a quickie downpour for many areas in the city here over the next half hour or so. It won't rain long. Just a few minutes, and uh, as I said, should scoot on out. Now, further west, we do have additional thunderstorms developing, so as the evening goes on, we will have a chance for another thunderstorm or two developing in the area. And as I mentioned before, any of these storms uh, can produce some uh, locally heavy downpours. These uh, areas of thunderstorms, and they're just starting to grow now. I think they'll peak out in a couple of hours before it's starting to diminish later on. But they go all the way out to Missouri. And then there's Bill that's been hitting the Dallas area with heavy rains all day today. And the spiraling rain band goes all the way still down to the coast of Texas. So a lot of uh, heavy rains and even a couple of thunderstorm warnings from Bill over portions of Arkansas right now. Well, here's, here's what to expect. First, let's talk about our local area for tonight. Areas of thunderstorms this evening, and there could be a batch of heavier storms moving through as the evening goes on again, and then that moves out, and it'll be quiet the rest of the night. For tomorrow, watching for these scattered storms to redevelop during the afternoon again, kind of like what's going on right now, and then uh, diminishing again for tomorrow night. For this evening, where there's still a slight risk of severe storms, could be an isolated severe storm still from Louisville on east is the main area, marginal risk to the west of us. Then for tomorrow, we're in the edge of the slight risk. This goes and covers much of Indiana, generally along and north of Interstate 64, and a slight risk for severe weather for tomorrow. Flash flooding tonight, slight risk from Louisville on north through Indianapolis. Flash flooding tomorrow. We're still in a slight risk from Louisville out over toward the St. Louis area. And then on Friday, uh, again, we're on the edge of that flight, slight risk area. This is uh, all, this Friday stuff is all from Bill coming in uh, to the region here. The uh, bill is forecast to move into southeast Missouri. This is the remnants of bill over uh, on Friday with rain and thunderstorms likely across about the northwest half of Kentucky and the southern half of Indiana. Then on Saturday, this is pretty rare because about once or twice a decade do we have the remnants of a hurricane or tropical storm come right through our area. So this will happen. This is not, does not mean it's going to rain all day Saturday, but there will be a period of rain and thunderstorms likely on Saturday. Here's the latest update from the Weather Prediction Center on forecast rain amounts. This goes, includes thunderstorms tonight all the way through Sunday evening and a potential for four to five inches of rain 
right up the Ohio River. So remember how the track, the band has always been showing up toward Indianapolis and it's been shifting south all week long. Now we are in the area for the heaviest rain up to five inches uh, with three to four inch amounts just north and south of Louisville. And again, we'll continue to update that as we get closer to Bill's arrival. 72 tonight with storms at times. Another chance for storms. 92, a hot one tomorrow. And then Bill knocks those temperatures down and uh, temperatures uh, lower to mid 80s for uh, Friday and Saturday with periods of rain and storms. And look at those temperatures starting on Sunday, lower and mid 90s expected. But uh, seems like I've been talking about Bill forever and <laughs> he, he seems like a good buddy or something the way we've been talking about him. But uh, he, he is expected to arrive on, late on Friday and continue into Saturday. Finally gets here. <laughs> Thanks, John. Seems like it's been forever, it does. doesn't it? Welcome, yeah. Bill. <laughs>